uh, Devin, sorry, Kruger, coming to the stage right now. You know him, you love him. Ewan and everybody. And the jazz and the stadium jokes here. Yeah, scientists reported earlier this year that uh, for the first time ever, they documented two male humpback whales having sex. Yeah, Hollywood's already going to make a movie about it. They're going to call it Humpback Mountain. Yeah, I was thinking about how language changes over time, you know? Like, if somebody came up to me, if some dude came up to me right now and told me he was going to blow my brains out, I wouldn't know whether to run away or pull my pants down. I was watching this TV show about General George Armstrong Custer and his famous last battle at the Battle of the Little Bighorn. I was like, Little Bighorn? That's gotta be a euphemism for penis, no? <laughs> little big horn. It's like, here's my big horn, and here's my little big horn. <laughs> yeah, doctors are so full of shit nowadays, I mean, I mean, they always were. Like, back in the 20s, people didn't really trust eating hamburgers. So when White Castle came out, they hired a bunch of doctors to sit around the restaurants eating hamburgers. And so people were like, oh, I guess hamburgers are healthy, right? Hamburgers aren't fucking healthy. And in the 50s, they had doctors selling cigarettes. You know, they're like newspaper and magazine ads, even TV commercials. They're like, oh, I'm a doctor, so I smoke camels. That is such bullshit, right? Because they're doctors, they know better. <laughs> and then the newest medical scam going around nowadays is that whole prostate rectal exam thing. That's fucking bullshit, you know? I've heard a hundred different prostate rectal exam stories. They all end the same way. They didn't find anything. And you know, if it's so important, why don't you tell me what to look for? And I'll stick my own finger at my own <laughs> How about that, huh? But oh no, we can't have that, can we? <laughs> Why, you need a medical degree to find a bubble in your butt? <laughs> I'm telling you, my intestines aren't the only thing full of shit around here. Wow. And you know, the NFL has one Asian football player, and he's a kicker. Could you not find a more racist position for this guy? Yeah. What, he's gonna go out in a karate uniform? <laughs> yeah, I wish he died a couple weeks back. That was pretty crazy, right? It was even more crazy the way he crashed the internet. And the second he died, basically half of America got online and was like, who the fuck is O.J. Simpson? <laughs> yeah, last uh, April 4th is a new ho national holiday. It's now National Burrito Day. It's pretty cool, right? And the very next day, April 5th, is now National Toilet Clogging Day. <laughs> and I was watching this Bigfoot documentary. It struck me as how dedicated these Bigfoot hunters were. You know, like so devoted to something that might not even be real. Like comedians in their careers. <laughs> yeah, I was watching the, the Oscars couple weeks back. And towards the end, I was getting excited. I was like, hey, look, they're bringing back the mummy. But then I was like, oh no, that's just Al Pacino. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, these are new jokes. So. I was at the, US, the UCLA protest this past weekend, you know. It's pretty crazy, you know. One thing I realized right away is that UCLA has like the most beautiful women in the fucking world, you know. Even before I got on campus, I was just like, what the fuck? Am I in heaven? Like, did I die like, without knowing you or something? And these fucking protesters, you know, they're all a bunch of college students, right? So they're, they're all like really dumb, right? You know, they're like talking to themselves like, oh, we're so important, we're gonna change the world. It's like, easy there, Susan B. Anthony. And here's more, uh, you know, one of my Jewish uh, friends, her name's Jenna. Jenna the Jewish princess, we call her. And uh, she's a staunch supporter of Israel, the idea of everything. And I get what Jenna says, you know, I get the point that sh she makes when she's talking about all that says. But then when I hear what the Palestinians are saying, I become torn as to which side I should be on, right? Should I take the side of the Palestinians? Or should I choose genocide? Uh, you know, Israel's a very inventive country, right? They invented uh, the USB flash drive. You know, they invented the Desert Eagle, right? And the Uzi. Mm. And then one more thing they just invented was a, a brand new group of people. Okay. Yeah, they're called WCNSF. It stands for Wounded Child, No Surviving Family. Yeah. Mm. Way to go, Israel. <laughs> yeah, knock knock. 44%. 44% of the Palestinians killed were children. Yay. Uh, uh. Uh, why did the Palestinians cross the road? Why? Because her family didn't want her grave right next to their tent. Why? <laughs> uh, before he accepted the role as a uh, human torch, you know, Aaron Bushnell, he left us a message. Right? He said, you know, many of us would like to think 
Like, what would I do if I was alive during slavery? Or the Jim Crow South, or apartheid? You know, what would I do if my country was committing genocide? And the answer is, you're doing it right now. Man. I don't know what I'm about it. He was.